Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at building an RF field strength meter using the SCAM3 board and an RF detector module, which you can see mounted on my breadboard. Now, I've built one of these before, and you've probably seen it in my videos, but I was using a Nano, that you can see here, and the same RF detector module. But in this case, I decided to use the SCAM3 board, for anybody who has a SCAM3 board, and it already has the 16 LEDs on the board for the LED display. Now the RF detector module, which you can see here on the very left, uses the AD8313 chip. It has a voltage input, which you can see on the very right, DC input of 7 to 15 volts. The frequency range is 100 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz, and it has a dynamic range of minus 72 dBm to minus 2 dBm, with a corresponding voltage output on the bottom here of 0.5 volts to 1.65 volts, and that's fed into the ADC of the SCAMP3 board. So as we get a signal into the antenna, we're going to get a voltage output that's fed into the ADC of the SCAM3 board, and we're going to get a display on the 16 LEDs, a bar graph dis display, which will display the field strength of the signal that we're receiving on, at the antenna of the, of the RF detector. So next we'll power this, this system up, and I'll get some transmitters out, and we can test out this RF field strength meter. Okay, I have my RF field strength meter powered up, and I have a Rayx LoRa module in the background there, and I could send some data. I'll send Hello World string. So I'll do that and we can watch the LED display, the bar graph on the SCAM3 board. I have a receiver on so we can actually hear the data. You can see the bar graph is indicating RF energy coming out of the LoRa module. Okay, I made a call on my cell phone. And you can see it's picking up my cell phone. If I take it further away, you can see it's dropping down. I bring it close. I get full bars. So it's picking up my cell phone, no problem. Okay, I have my RC transmitter powered up. And you can see I'm getting full bars. It's putting on a pretty uh, strong signal. So I'll turn it off and we'll see it drop. And she's out. Okay, my last transmitter will be my 5 watt portable radio. It puts out a pretty hefty signal. So it's going to get full bars. There it is there. So I'll take it far away. I'll put it put it way behind my head. You can see it dropping. It's behind my back. And I bring it forward back to the bench. And you can see we get full bars when I key up. Okay, when I was doing my demos, my LED bar graph was set up for minus 32 dBm on the very right to minus 10 on the very left. That's my sensitivity. And that worked out pretty good, but right now I have the sensitivity changed to minus 55 dB on the very right to minus 10 on the very left for full bars. And you can see it's picking up all kinds of garbage. It's picking up my computer, it's picking up all my Wi-Fi stuff in the house, so that's kind of distracting. So I changed the sensitivity from minus 32 to minus 10, and it worked out pretty good. But all this, all the sensitivity, the full scale range from uh, the start to the finish can be changed in software. Okay, here's the data sheet of the AD8313IC. So we have a little chart here of the input amplitude and dBm on the x-axis versus the V out on the y-axis on the left. And we have another line, a horizontal line, that's our error. So if you look around neg 10 dB, the errors start uh, coming on pretty strong. So if we go higher than neg 10, uh, it, uh, the errors start coming on. So from neg 10 to about neg 60, if we go over to neg 60, if we go lower than that, you can see the errors started coming on. So our useful range is from neg 10 to about neg 60. And then there's our, our V out line. That's our, our uh, V out versus the input amplitude. So we're going to use this data for our code. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAM3 board. And it's written in Flashforth. So the first thing we do, we set up our ADC, we initialize it. So we set it up as 12 bits. We have a 12-bit ADC. We're going to use pin 3 on the SCAMP3 board as our analog input. And we're going to be using channel 3. So that sets up our ADC. Next word is called bars. That's how many bars on the LED display. So if we type 2 bars, we'll get 2 LEDs. If we type 16 bars, we'll get uh, 16 LEDs coming on. So that's our bars. And here's our, here's our whole program, FSM, field strength meter. So we initialize our ADC, then we go into a begin until loop. Now this is a continuous loop until we hit any key on the keyboard and then it will come out of this loop. 
So what we do, I'm sampling, I'm sampling the ADC four times and then dividing it by four. That's to make it smooth. And I, this is my min and max values. That sets up my, my minimum and maximum uh, sensitivity. So that's minus 32 dBm to minus 10. So those are my two values. And then I take four samples, uh, add them up, divide by four. And then I use this uh, formula to calculate how many bars. And that sends the bars to the LED, LED uh, display, and we get our bars. Then we hit any key in the keyboard. It'll come out of this uh, begin until loop, and then we'll zero the bars. We'll shut off all the LEDs. So that's, that's the whole program there. It's pretty simple. It's a few lines, FSM, to run our field strength meter. OK, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard, my RF field strength meter. It has two components. On the very left, you can see the RF detector. On the very right is the SCAMP3 board. So the RF detector has the AD8313IC, and I'm powering the module with 9 volts. It'll take uh, from 7 to 15. I pick 9. And the output of the RF detector is fed into pin 3 of the SCAMP3 board. That's the ADC. It's configured as an ADC input. And the grounds are tied together between the RF detector and the SCAMP3 board. So that's basically it. Just power up the RF detector, run the, run the software on the SCAMP3 board. Then you'll get indications on the 16 LEDs of your transmitter field strength. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to build an RF field strength meter using a SCAMP3 board and RF detector module. And the software is very simple, so you could go in there, you could change things if you want to add more filtering or if you want to change the dynamic range uh, to make it more sensitive, like, uh, like I showed in the video. So it's up to you. So it's uh, very easy to get a field strength meter so you could get your RF projects, your wireless projects, up and running.